Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home, welcome to my channel, and welcome to my weekly vlog, Coffee, Tea, Wine, and Life. And this morning, it's coffee. So uh, this is probably my fourth cup of coffee, but this is my first Smart Sips coffee of the day. So I have no idea what took me so long to start my Smart Sips. This one is Snickerdoodle, and I think I got this box, but I didn't do an unboxing of it. And oh my gosh, this is one of my new favorites. I didn't even know I had Snickerdoodle. It is so good. It's like having one of those snickerdoodle cookies that's been rolled in cinnamon and sugar and the vanilla dough and a cup of coffee. It's amazing. It is one of my new favorites. Cheers, everyone. Mm. So good. So it's Mother's Day weekend. So I'm so excited. So as you can see, I have got some beautiful flowers behind me. This one here is from Raina and Family. So this Tiger Lily set, I think I got, I forgot, maybe it was Thursday these ones came in. So they're starting to open up. So I got pinks and some yellows in there and just so many buds I haven't opened yet. So, so, so pretty. It's getting a little bigger every day. It's drinking quite a bit of water too. And these ones are from Sabrina and Family. And yeah, so this one's beautiful tulips. So I've got pink and yellows. And then this one's either going to be a beautiful shade of purple or a deep blue. I cannot wait to see what they look like opened up. And she sent chocolates. So we have got the best girls ever. So thank you so much, ladies. I just feel so blessed and so lucky to have our, our girls, even though I haven't seen them in so long. That day's coming. It's coming. I don't know when but I know it's coming. So anyway, I hope everyone is having a fantastic week. So you know, I just got my COVID uh, vaccine finally yesterday. And yes, so it was a little sore last night, like maybe somebody punched me in the arm, but other than that, nothing. Today, I mean, I couldn't even tell you that I got a shot anywhere. I mean, it just feels normal. I mean, there's no pain, there's no stiffness, there's no nothing, no swelling or any red at the site. So yeah, so. I feel pretty lucky about that because this is the one that my boss got and he did not do so good with this uh, Janssen vaccine. Yeah, he was sick sick for like three, three days in a row. So I'm feeling really good, really lucky. Maybe it's because I stayed hydrated. Yeah, maybe it's because I kept moving. Maybe it's mind over matter. Who knows? But anyway, today I'm wearing another Ellie outfit. This one I, I did do an unboxing of, so I'm not going to stand up and show you, but this one was called the Purple Haze, and it is just so comfortable. I love it. I love starting. I, I mean, I would, I would wear an exercise, one of these athleisure suits from them every day of the week if I could, but I'm good enough to get a couple to wear on the house and wear them on casual Fridays. I think they're much more comfortable than jeans, and I do have some jeans that are quite comfortable, but not like this. Not when you're sitting for like 14, 15 hour days. These are the bomb. Yeah, so I'm loving my Ellie Active Wear. Um, so as you can see, I'm going to go there. Oh, I went the right way. Um, I didn't point in the right way. But I got the Book of the Month Club. That was in my mailbox today. So I'm so excited to open that up. I didn't get one of the Book of the Months. There was a couple that I was going back and forth on. But um, I went for one of the older ones and it really sounded good. So yeah, I'm slow at reading. I think I only read one day last week. It was like I worked a couple of days till like 12 o'clock again, midnight. Um, one night I worked, uh, I think Cinco de Mayo. I was home by like maybe 10, 1030 and I had margarita and I think I watched did about a, an hour of YouTube and then I was like falling asleep. Could have been the margaritas, could have just been because I was tired. Who knows? But anyway, I'm hoping uh, to get a little bit more caught up. I him really enjoying getting back into reading and I would like to read a little bit more than a chapter or two a night but you know it is what it is and um yeah so I'll take it but I've got a stitch fix that's going to be coming it um I think it shipped on Friday and it's mine seems to go back and forth between Indiana and Phoenix this one ships from Phoenix so it's a little bit longer to get here but you know that's okay it just puts me behind I might do this um book of the month club later today and then just uh, schedule it to film during the week and I really still feel bad that I bombarded you guys for the last two weeks with a video every day so I'm hoping to slow down but I got all my boxes cut up so I am really really pleased about that I actually did a mask uh, this morning again I've been masking a couple of days during the week and it just I really feel like it's it's making a difference in my skin and I just really I feel, I feel like it's hydrating my skin from within or something. So I am enjoying doing that. And um, I did take a video outside today. I've tried to get that tree again before all the 
blooms fall off so I might try to insert it somewhere yeah so anyway I think that's about it it's a Mother's Day weekend so I hope everyone goes out has a fantastic time I hope that you get to see your loved ones whether it's in person or on the phone or with a zoom type meeting or a FaceTime meeting on your phone yeah so I wish you the best, everyone. Happy Mom's Day, everyone. Thanks so much for all your support, and we will chat again soon. Bye-bye. Alrighty, so I'm trying to get that tree. It is in full bloom, and we never have had luck with it being in full bloom more than a day or so. So wish the sky behind it was blue, but I will take it. Alrighty. Hi everybody, welcome to Friday. We made it through another week. Well, I suppose technically it's really Saturday, but I'm going to pretend it's still Friday night. So it's a little after 1230. I worked again till midnight. I came home. Um, yeah, I, I'm pooped. I am not probably going to go on YouTube and, and watch videos or comment because it's probably going to be just a lot of all incoherent things that no one's going to be able to read anyway. And they'll say, what the heck is she talking about now? But yeah, so... Me, myself, a margarita. Gonna finish my margarita. I think then I'm gonna put ocean sounds on. Have Alexa play some ocean sounds. And then I'm gonna go to sleep. I love sleeping to ocean sounds. It makes me think I'm back on the beach camping. To be honest, this is good. A strawberry margarita. But I don't even know if I'm gonna finish it. I'm probably gonna have a few sips and then just... I don't even know if I'm going to pull down the blankets tonight. I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm done. But anyway, today, um, I expected to get a lot done at work today because it's the fishing opener. And so on the fishing op opener, it's, it's kind of like a big deal here in Minnesota. And they do say that a lot. It's a big deal. It's kind of a big deal here. Yeah, for sure. You betcha. And that in the first day of hunting, the hunting opener. And um, it was busy this morning and I was like not prepared to be busy because I had things to do. I had work I wanted to get done, like spreadsheets and commissions and, yes, yeah, GPs and, you know, stuff like that. So I was really hoping to get a lot done today, which I did. But, um, yeah, it was busy up until about 1130, and then it was, like, done. And then um, we just went on, like, different sites to see what the roads were like, and they were packed. So even if I left work at a normal hour, I probably would have been sitting in the parking lot anyway. But anyway, so there are about five of us that came in today. And um, a lot of people took vacation days off because, you know, go up, up north. They say up north a lot, too. Yeah. Get to the cabin. Where are you going? Up north. Uh, what are you going to do this weekend? Fishing opener. Yeah, it's, it's a big deal here. But uh, so the five of us came in, and one of my bosses was in, so he brought us pizza. And, yeah, there's one that I, I've always been kind of afraid when they get that one, but I decided to be bold and try it today. And it was a buffalo chicken pizza. Oh my God, that was so, so good. It was spicy. I'm not going to kid you. It was hot. And it came with um, maybe a ranch or a blue cheese dressing or something to dip it in. So good. I would definitely buy that again. Well, probably not the whole thing, but to have a piece when they order a pizza like that, it was really good. And I had opened up the uh, liquor cabinet so the guys were having drinks. But, you know, I knew I was going to have some drinks later, so I was good. I drank my water with my pizza at my desk. They sat out at the snack bar and... I was sitting at my desk, but it all worked out, and um, and then we, we, we knew we wanted to kind of have a little bit of a fun day today, because there's only going to be five of us, so I brought in some flies, some uh, goodie supplies from home to make some shots for everybody about three o'clock, so I had Kalua and Amaretto, so little, um, un, un, you know, those twisted shot glasses that I have, so liquor, it's like separated, so you can put two different liquors in them, so, so there was, so I had the Amaretto and Kahlua, so that was like a little black Russian. And then I had uh, peach snaps with uh, the vanilla tippy cow for peaches and cream. I had strawberry snaps and the vanilla tippy cow. And so that was like a strawberry sundae. And then I used the orange tippy cow and the vanilla tippy cow for orange sherbet or like a creamsicle. Very, very good. And uh, what was the last one? And I think I just uh, brought bourbon cream. And so I just had bourbon cream on both sides. They were all good. Yeah, they went really fast. So good. So we had those kind of all together doing, doing our shots. And then, yeah, they even washed the glasses. The guys washed the glasses for me. And I went back to work. And then they stayed at the snack bar. 
and then probably about four o'clock they came around and they gave me my margarita so I was happy and yeah and then I the phones were dead from like 11:30. I don't think the phone rang after 11:30. I think I did call myself just to make sure that the phones were still working but yeah emails were trickling in kept up with the emails got to work on some machine folders and spreadsheets up to 12 so good because I went back in this weekend and gas prices because of everything that's going on I mean it's just it's going up like every day and it's like I don't want to pay more for gas to go to work for a couple hours I would rather just stay later and not worry about it so hopefully we will get that under control before the gas is just crazy and um yeah and then the mask um so I don't know if it's the same everywhere, but I guess the CDC came up with new guidelines, even though last week they said, even if you were vaccinated and it's all over been the two weeks, you should still wear that you mask because there's different variances of the COVID um, out there. And so the mask is gonna protect you from those, even if you've been vaccinated. So this week they're saying, oh no, if you've been vaccinated and it's been in two weeks after, you don't need to wear your mask anymore. And it's like, how did that change in a week? I don't know but I know that's gonna make a lot of people happy so I got my vaccine and I had the one and done shot um, so I'm only just a week so next week I can technically not wear my mask anymore but I don't know because who knows I mean is it like the honor system or I mean then you can't go to a place and have your mask on and they say something to you and you say oh I was vaccinated and I think it's probably against law for them to say, let me see your vaccination card because now you're into privacy laws, right? So who's to say whether you've been vaccinated or not vaccinated? Are you contaminating people? Are you not contaminating people? So I think I'm gonna wear my mask still when I go play. Well, you know, the only place I go really is, okay, so the occasional liquor store, you know, you know, it's not real, really crowded in there. And, uh, shopping store um for groceries i usually just go to cub because i can get in and out with the self-service target the parking lot has been full since this whole covid thing started and it was never full before it's like people i think just go there to hang out and be social i don't know but those are really the only places i go you know when i go to the gas station i, I never go inside i just pay at the pump when i order pizza or something i just you know have it delivered and it's the touchless delivery so they just leave it outside I do I haven't even been to the Dunkin Donuts drive-thru in a while so you know I've done the McDonald's drive-thru but yeah that's about that's about it yeah so nothing's really changed for me really but anyway I think I'm starting to ramble because I'm pooped so I'm going to have a couple more sips of my margarita I'm going to go to bed I'm going to start again tomorrow with another week so I hope everyone goes out has a fantastic weekend. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for joining me and spending time with me. I love you guys. You guys are the best. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care. Have a great week.